Welcome back. I am LP Master Six. We are in Sherbet. Oh, damn it! I did it. I was just bragging on myself. Sherbet I Sher <sighs> Sherbet Land called Sherbet Island in a specific issue of Nintendo Power or volume of Nintendo Power. What's the difference? Is there a difference? And also, uh, one of the players' guides officially released for the game. As you can see. Uh, these are the numbered courses after Mount Teapot, not the ones in Stove Canyon, which is the required world. Because if you'll remember, this world's entirely optional and secret. And I love this background. This is so nice and detailed. And of course, just like that reviewer said, unobtrusive to the gameplay. Now, I guess I could see that in Super Mario Land 2 if they're talking about like the tree zone or something. Um, <laughs> but still, pretty weird. Way to- oh my god, our first death. Our first death was to a pit! <laughs> okay, good start to the video. Uh, this should be what, part five? Uh, no, this, this is probably part four. I think I'm gonna split the... I don't know, actually. I think this might just be part three. There's nothing wrong with long videos. A lot of people don't like to watch them, but I feel like for longer games it's better that way. Not that this is a longer game, but this isn't like a, you know, black box NES game like I used to do. I feel like making longer videos is the way to go. Uh, I'm not sure. A lot of my fans don't watch through all of my videos. <laughs> um, although I know when the guy I shouted out before, Cross on Beast 315 watches a video, he gen generally watches all of it. So thank you to him again. Uh, and he's the type of guy to timestamp, provide helpful tips, which I quite enjoy. I do enjoy a neat game fact. He has taught me a few things. Mostly gameplay tips, which are honestly my worst forte. Okay, no, I'm still not checkpointing because this level's not very hard. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, it's interesting that this is the first area in any Mario game called Sherbet Land. And there are a few of those, not to talk about the future so much. I, I started doing that so often and I, I hate myself for it because I like to stay in the uh, aesthetic of the time that I'm in. Like 1994... I don't like to mention later games that come out, but this is our second game of 1994 that we're doing, and I'm very excited because this is a good year for the games we're doing. For video gaming in general, it is one of my favorite years. 1995 is also really good. I mean, every, every year after this, I can look at multiple games and say, wow, I'm extremely excited to be playing this soon. So, it's a very exciting time, and I feel like years before this, I mean, were exciting, but it's like there's only a few, like, big hits and a few obscure games I'm excited to show because that's where all my views come from. Also, look at this nice little icy... Oh, this is a bucket head. They only appear in Sherbet Land. The ice physics really aren't that obtrusive in this game. And I guess they considered the course hard enough to where you didn't have to pay for the gold ore, even though there were coins everywhere. Oh, we tried it last time, and we got screwed. What patterns have we not tried? We'll do it at least two more times in the game. How about left, right, right? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I really want to see. 50-50 chance, my ass! Because... Come on! <laughs> How many times have we got- Oh my god, that is the third or fourth time we've gotten the weight three times in a row. We've gotten the money bag three times once. And you know, that's nothing compared to how many times we've gotten the weight compared to how many times we've gotten the money bag. It's so ridiculous. Alright, we've already got a two exit thing. This is our first secret exit inclusive level in our secret world here. Can you imagine being a kid at this time and finding the secret world? I mean, of course, you already knew there was a secret exit that you were probably looking for in that one level. 
But if there were no indication, this would be so magical, but so mean. Of course, obviously you'd be wondering where the numbered courses went, and why they changed so much when you went from course 13 to whatever, like course 20, in the next required world. Oh, look at this. And you can never free the enemies in the ice either. It's just a DD, frozen forever. Put the hedgehog enemy's name on the screen because I don't remember what it is. Another common theme, probably a uh, reference to Sonic the Hedgehog. But maybe not. Who knows? But hedgehog enemies are a common theme in Mario games in the 90s. Especially the spin-off-ish titles like this. But you can hurt them as long as they're not puffed up. Just like a real hedgehog. <laughs> I do have experience hurting hedgehogs, as painful as that is. Because, you know, neglected mine. Also, cat, uh, my cat Silvestina is missing. We're very upset about that. Not really missing, but she hasn't come home in a couple days, which is very weird for her. Normally she's home by dinner time, so I am worried. As, you know, we've lost cats before to going missing. And, ah, it's so sad. Of course, I mean, you gotta mentally prepare yourself for stuff like this whenever you've got 14 cats. So I'm just hoping she comes back soon. But my wife is really torn up about it. She assumed the worst immediately. I'm still not assuming the worst. Oh, that's right, a gold ore. Oh god. You wonder what we should do? Oh my god, how do we free all this stuff? Have we been introduced to a gameplay mechanic that will do something like this? Oh, well yes we have, it's the exclamation mark block. That's right, OMG. I actually really quite like this. It's like the switches from Mario World, uh, except they're per level. And they're little in-game, or in-level puzzles instead of you unlock these and you unlock stuff. Which I think both ways are a fun way to do it. Personally, I prefer Mario World, which is like my fifth favorite game of all time, or sixth. Yeah, it's like my sixth favorite game of all time. Which, I didn't mention that in the Let's Play, so neat tidbit for you guys. But we are going to pass the gold ore, and hopefully pass this garlic pot, because I do not want it. Yeah, buddy. You saw there was a secret exit in this level. And I'm not messing around. I like to get the secret exits first, because it's more fun that way. And then you just go back and you have a relaxing time and get the regular exit, which you already know exists. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we obviously need a... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we had 83 coins! I already have to redo the level again to show the regular exit. I guess I really don't. But, okay, we'll show it this time, and when I get the regular exit, I won't show it. That's fair, right? That works? This feels like a longer level, though, if I had 83 coins, at least. I love that little ding! Ding! Sound effect. The second time was on time with the music, hopefully. Should have been. You know, you'd think I'd notice way more often that there's a, like a 0 0.2 second delay on my audio. Because... Or maybe, no, it's just a delay on my... Yeah, no, no, that's what it is, because I had to set my... Uh, commentary to that, since it records with the video now, since I use OBS, and I don't know why I didn't always use OBS, because that's definitely the way to go. Uh. Oh yeah, I don't forget to keep the death counter me, future me, you know, because future me is a joke stolen from, like, Proton John and Nintendo Capri Sun, can't remember which one, they both do it, and I think they both give each other credit for it, and on multiple occasions. I haven't been watching much Nintendo Capri Sun lately. He hasn't uploaded much of his Miitopia Let's Play. Which honestly, I stopped watching because it's mostly a blind reaction. I've already seen Miitopia. So. 
Well, not the Switch version. I still need that. Um, this is the first time since I've been an adult that for either Christmas or um, <laughs> my birthday, I haven't gotten every single game I asked for, which I, I really am not complaining. My mom does not need to spend so much on me. So, I'm, I mean, she got me two games and $100, which I'm going to use to buy other games. I still want to get Famicom Detective Club and uh, Galen's mom got me a $50 gift card for uh, going to the, or picking up her husband from the airport, because he is from New Zealand. And, uh, you know, I, that's not an, I don't have enough on my account. I've had that gift card in my account for months. Haven't had enough money in the account to actually get the two Famicom Detective Club games, which I've never experienced before in any capacity, and hope they are good. I still need to play Phoenix Wright, but again, I've told you about my uh, obsessive list problem. I mean, right now I got a lot of games to play anyway, so. And hey, it's Nintendo developed originally, at least, the Famicom Detective Club games. I'm gonna get Metopia, uh, Mario Golf Super Rush. I like how you can just dash straight into their knives. Mario really is super strong. Oh god, okay, let's be careful this time. Ow. Ooh, my neck. Ah, <laughs> uh, the conveyor belt to spice it up a little bit. Very nice. There's our secret exit, but... Let's get that heart, for good measure. And voila. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, screw you, game. <laughs> Hooray! How did we end up with fewer coins that time? <laughs> I'm cursed when it comes to this game. I tried, this is my third separate day, spending hours trying to record this, and luckily this time it's going okay, I think. <laughs> but I would get, I, like, one time I finished World 1 entirely, and I was like, ah, let's throw this away. And it wasn't even that bad. It's just, you know, when you get that gut feeling. Like, sometimes I'll think my videos are bad after I edit them. And then later, I'm like, oh. I know, that was alright. <laughs> oh, I need to cut this out. Uh, uh, let me finish my thought. <laughs> it's, it's very bad that anytime I hear that word now, I think of the normie slang term, thought. Which I really never thought was funny, and I do. Oh, it just. I also don't use the word ho anyway. I'm like, what is this, 2008? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm one to talk. It's really an epic fail what I just said, am I right? <laughs> Although I love ironically using the word epic because I think it is just hilarious. I mean, people still use it, and I think it works in occasional context, but. <laughs> Mostly, it just reminds me of EpicFail.com from 2010 and 11. Okay, I need to finish my thoughts so we can stop showing this stage again. But I can't remember what it was. Oh, like in Wrecking Crew, I thought, oh, these videos are awful. And I put a disclaimer that the videos are boring. And no, my gut feeling was right. I think they're some of the best videos I've ever done. Okay, so now that we've done that... I do want to touch on the idea of, um, I mentioned when you get a game over, you lose, it's at least one treasure. It might be a random amount, but I, I can't remember. Like I said, I've only gotten one game over, thankfully, which I'm surprised I did it all. Oh, well, never mind. I didn't know about holding up. <laughs> okay, now this is where it gets a little confusing. So, this is course 15. We got the secret exit, which is a one-off course, and this is course 16. Which also has a secret exit with a one-off course. But, yes, I love killing things with keys in Mario games. It never stops being satisfying. Keys are so overpowered. I love it. Also, I love when they tell you directly there is a uh, treasure in a level. Oh, why did I throw it? Come back, please. This game is so good. To think that this is my least favorite game. I mean, I, I might move it up. It might be better than New Super Mario Bros. Wii. 
More on that later. Not that I think new Super... I don't think any Mario game, any Super Mario game for a Nintendo console is a bad game. We lost the key. We can... I mean, we didn't. We just have to take our hit. <sighs> we could have used those, like, six or seven coins. I didn't count. This is the secret exit, not the treasure room. Right? Because look at that. See, that one coin tips you off, and here we go. <laughs> no, don't go up. Oh, but I love the idea that, like, it's you don't start something over. Like, you don't start a world over, I don't think. You just, your progress is still there, except you have to get the treasures back. So you have to remember where they are. I think it's a genius way to handle a game over. Why did I think the key was going to unlock the secret exit? So we can go ahead and get this out of the way. Because that gives us a power up. And it's not like we're going to miss the key, so... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh man, I love ice art world so much. We got a lot of water levels in the last world, and we're getting ice worlds in this one. Or levels. Oh, that still hurts me. Okay. This sucks. Oh well. We got a good one coin out of it. I really wanted to be Bull Wario, but you know what? I'll get over it. I I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big boy. I, wait a minute. Oh, nope, not right there. <laughs> Get away from me. Get <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I am bad at this game, huh? Okay, it's right here. It's totally right here. Can you sit down, please? Thank you. Oh, that's the issue. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna keep going until I find a... Wait, no, I'm not. Okay, there's probably one right here, and if not... Okay, ooh, it, not just power up, it's Bull Wario. Okay. Great. Which is great for if we want those coins! Which I'm not that concerned about, surprisingly. Okay. Yes! This is the treasure room. I love they look like frosted like really hard cakes, I guess. I mean they are frosted, just not the exact same type of Oh That's why frosting in food is called frosting. I get it now. And that's a shield, not a diamond. I thought it was a diamond the first few times. But no, I think this screen makes it pretty apparent. It's a shield. Oh, I didn't put on deodorant this morning. I need to do that before I go to work. But my wife has a habit of just putting the deodorant in random places where I can't find it, and it's always her purse, and I just don't want to look in her purse. Now I gotta pee. I did not drink enough water yesterday. I'm gonna get kidney stones, you guys. They run in my family and I'm terrified. I have had multiple, not panic attacks, um, freak outs, minor freak outs, because I'm so scared of getting kidney stones. I will pay any amount of money to have a kidney stone removed from me by laser, even though I don't have health insurance, before I pass a kidney stone. I am terrified of pissing blood. <laughs> What Wario Land Let's Player hasn't said something like that? Come on. Alright, um, I think we're supposed to activate a... an exclamation mark block. Wish there was a better way to say that. But we really... Okay. Ouch. Come on. We really don't have to do that. So I'm gonna skip it. You know, I'll probably get more coins out of it. Who cares? We're good. We got the treasure. There's only ever one treasure per level. There's no level with two treasures. Yeah, we got 21 coins. You think I'm ruining those by knocking those down to 25%? No, wait. 12.5% of the original number? <laughs> All right, and that is the actual path. And I think, okay, this is 16th. 
So this is the boss level, I think. And it doesn't have a skull over it because this is a secret world and it acts differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Course number 17. Here we go. This is a... Let's see if I can get this right. Pikarikun. I believe that is how you pronounce it. If you... This is another useful enemy. If you can get him to strike an enemy with lightning. Oh god, please. Yes. That's a tin coin. This is a very obnoxious enemy. Follows you out through the entire... Usually level, but... Oh my god. <laughs> screen that you are on. Oh, my back hurts and I have to pee. Don't sing, okay? <laughs> why do people decide to sing randomly? A lot of people do that. I don't understand why. Forgot you can even pick these guys up and I accidentally killed 20 coins there. Oops. Okay, you know what? Nah, maybe this guy? Nope, he's gone. I want that coin. Oh well, I can live with 22 coins. Uh, do I want to be nice to you guys and get a... get the checkpoint? I'm not so sure. <laughs> that poor... Gao Gao. Gao Gao. That's how you pronounce the... the rat enemy here. I love their laugh. I love laughing sounds on 8-bit systems. So good. Even 16-bit. We are not going to want to deal with that. Oh god, oh god. Move. There we go, because we can do that. And then... Yep, we're good. No, stop it. Stop it! Okay, well, okay. That, that works. That's good enough. Do we want to save that or get 10 hearts? I want to see how many lives I can build up. It's kind of useless. But, you know, it's always fun in any video game, right? Maybe not any video game. Maybe not a fun video game. It's just, it looks like a Little Debbie cake. Like a frosted honey bun or something. Glazed. That's the word I'm looking for, right? Okay, yeah, you don't have to hold up. I'm just like, oh, how do I jump without going in the door? You just don't hold up. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad I went in here, because we get a key. Is that all we- yeah, that's all we get out of this room. Okay. Well, except for the usual coins and hearts. Oh, I forgot you were alive. Let's kill you. <laughs> so satisfying, the key is the ultimate weapon. Oh god, the cats are revolting out there because they're hungry. It's past their feeding time. I still haven't gone out to feed them because I gotta- Because they make a lot of noise because one cat- with a bladder infection, which I've mentioned months ago. Morris, still having bladder problems. He has to eat by himself to eat the bladder food, because the other cats will eat it, or he'll eat the food he's not supposed to be eating. The regular, expensive, Rachel Ray Nutrish food. Salmon variety, that's their favorite. I really hope this is where we have to go with the key. Oh god, please. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it this way, so we don't have to fall down. I'm so grateful you can go up ladders <laughs> with keys. Oh, uh, we could just do that. All right. Oh, this is just a checkpoint, which we can't get anyway because then we'll have to backtrack for the key, and nobody wants to do that. All right, let's just. Oh my God, it's so dirty. Gotta do this. And we really gotta dodge this lightning. And the hedgehogs. Oh god. Please move. Move. Oh, that's not gonna work. I don't know why I keep going back to pick up the key. There's a lot of games the key, you know, disappears in a certain amount of time, like a certain game I've been playing. Uh, can't mention it because it's coming up soon on this channel. I'm trying to do a practice take, but I had the same save battery problem. Oh, I never finished my story, I guess, technically. So I'm playing the first one because the seller uh, sent me a message asking for either the money back or the game back. Oh, God. 
This sucks. We can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot the key can go through walls and everything while you're holding it. Excellent. Jet pot, my fave. <gasps> oh no! I'm upset. That's very upsetting. <laughs> dropped I can still feel it it's it's dropped yes okay <laughs> what was I talking about oh how the fur the seller of the first copy of the game the one with the ESRB rating that saves so I find this fascinating even though in its first printing the ESRB didn't exist uh, this is our first game where at least the first game where I own a copy or I've ever seen a copy where <laughs> It has an ESRB rating on it, on its original form, like cartridge form. So, I find that fascinating. Does Japan even have a rating system? I honestly don't think it does. But most countries do, so I'd be pretty surprised if it didn't. Either way, though... I mean, it doesn't really matter for the type of games that I play. The only non-Nintendo games I play, as I've mentioned a million times. What? You can normally touch that with no problem. Oh, God. Please have a garlic pot in one of these. I don't think it does, though. <gasps> it does. It has a bowl pot. Even better. Oh, yes. Okay, I will take that. Sorry for the chair sounds. Uh, also for my birthday, my mother-in-law uh, bought me a new chair. Very comfortable, very nice. Uh, it was hurting my back, but, you know, I guess my back is used to it now or something. I don't know. I only sit in it when I play games. Uh, and I Oh my god! <laughs> I'll meet you back at where we died the first time. The key, the, the room where we... Use the key. Oh yeah, there's a neat little trick. You can start your flames and then pick up the key. Your flames will still keep going. So, nice little trick there. Okay, uh, can I? Yes, I can. No? Yes, I can throw the key over now. Thank God. And why was it still landing when I got there? <laughs> But, we're done with the dragon pot, thank you though. Cause we, okay, don't, don't die this time, please. Okay, these are not on a time limit or anything. So feel free to collect as many coins as you can, which we are going to do. We're gonna take advantage of that sweet, sweet deal. It's so satisfying to get triple digits in a stage every time. Also, is this the first um, Super Mario game without score? If you consider this a Super Mario game, which a lot of people don't. No, I missed. I don't know anybody that does. Although some people consider uh, a certain other spinoff a Super Mario game, <clears throat> and they both have Super Mario in the title, so there's not, you know, that much of a difference. But I can see why people don't, because the stars Wario and not Mario, and this is the first game in the Wario Land series. It's not an entry in the Super Mario Land series primarily, even though in Japan, it's really the opposite. It's all about placement of the name, I guess. I wonder what the Japanese people think about it. My hands are sweaty. I've been sweating so much more lately. He does not sweat, does not apply to me anymore. I'm a sweaty boy. I made all of our blankets gross while I was sick. I really sweat out that fever. I get a fever with any slight thing. Alright, well, I don't know where the floater is, so... Yep, okay, he just respawns back there. We got the treasure. I don't care what happens. Even if you die, it doesn't matter. You still keep the treasure, I think. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm so scared of sliding off because I've done that enough lately. Okay. 
This should be the end of the stage, right? Okay, of course, there's gonna be mines and stuff though. Yep, pinwheels. I'm hearing that sound now that I know that it's the Metroid 2 sound. Put this guy's name on the screen, another member of the pirates, presumably, due to the bandana. Okay, Wario is just so ugly here. Just so ugly. <laughs> Alright, no, we're keeping our 125 coins. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Another good Charles Martinet impression. Sorry, I haven't been role-playing as Wario, you guys. I missed out on an important detail um, in the manual. So we are also heading out to fight... Oh! That actually links up here to the boss stage. Okay, cool, but we are gonna go do this stage first. But anyway, um, Wario uh, doesn't know much about the Brown Sugar Pirates except that their, their leader is Captain Syrup, who is known as a really rotten and ruthless guy. So, that is our main villain here, presumably. The really rotten and ruthless guy, Captain Syrup. I love the kitchen theming. I love the theming in this game. Also, I love when they directly tell you that a treasure is in this level. It's very nice. Hold on, what happens if I go back this way? Is this what I'm thinking of? Yes. Even if you turn the exclamation mark block back off, uh, this ladder will stay. Ugh. I don't know what's in my throat, but it's unpleasant. As you may be able to insinuate. What is that? Is that just a rock on the wall, I guess? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. I can't comprehend art because I'm not an artist. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think art is uh, subjective or objective? A lot of my friends think the artist's intention is the only thing that matters. If that doesn't work for music, why would that be the case for visual art? I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> I didn't really have to do that. You know what, we're gonna kill the next one too. Yep, there we go. Yep, okay. We're gonna do a nice fall here. Please don't die, Wario. <sighs> okay, yes, hopefully you spawn us some platforms and I thought that a key was here. Okay, oh yeah, the bucket heads are more dangerous. That's why you want to kill them off first. Because their projectiles slide along the floor. Okay, luckily we killed the first two, so we're good. Okay, I guess this affects us here. Oh yeah, duh, because the key was here. We already saw that. So then we take this back. And we claim the third and final treasure of Sherbet Land. So far, the theming has been one treasure per... Are you kidding me? Come on. For some reason, I was thinking like a normal Mario game, but it's not! I have the most obnoxious voice. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. I feel like that's what I say the most. It's a magic lamp, or an oil lamp, one of the two. I think this is the treasure worth the most in the entire game. It might be a tie though, but probably because you are very unlikely to go back and see that this ladder exists here. And then you gotta do a decent amount of work for this, so. Anyway, we're done with secret exits for this world also, so now we just play through the rest of the stages like normal. Ooh, my ear hurts. So I'm swapping headphones again. Oh, because I hit it again while we were off gallivanting about getting the treasure. That's why it's not showing up. Okay. Okay, can you... Yes, die, please. Thank you. War -ar -ar. I'm a rotten Wario. I kill it, the hedgehog. That's what you guys want to see. Role-playing, so... I'm so glad I've never had a viewer tell me that that's what they want out of my... Anybody that finds my videos and sees the kind of games I do would not want that, right? 
Like, I'm really concerned about that. Because, I mean, the closest thing I've been able to, uh, like, that I would be able to do that for, and I would, that's just not me. I would not be able to roleplay a character. I just want to talk, explain, even though I think the explanatory method of Let's Playing, which is the types of games I watch and play, that's the most common method, it seems like. And uh, I was going to stop doing that, but most people seem to like when I say neat facts. So that's the style we're going to keep going with, even when I play a game that's not necessarily a hidden gem at all. Cats, leave my door alone. I know you're hungry. I know I'm an hour and 14 minutes overdue. But we fed them late last night and yesterday morning, so they're going to be fine. They act like they're going to die if they don't get fed as soon as I wake them up. Brian, one of Silvestina's children, uh, as soon as I get up and we don't feed him, or if the alarm goes off and we don't feed him, uh, he will just start eating things in the house, particularly cardboard. Just... <sighs> Having 14 cats is a handful. Very ridiculous. Especially the new ones, Albert and Simon. Not getting along with anybody. They especially hate each other. They're starting to get along better with others, but not each other. They will seek out each other and then just get proceed to get pissed off at each other. I told you to put the pelican names on the screen, right? Me? I think so. You better do it. Oh, we can finally hit blocks underwater. Jet Wario's just... I'm so glad. I was about to be so pissed <laughs> if we took a hit. But this game is shockingly forgiving. I thought this was originally one of the harder um, games in the Super Mario series. And it might be. The series is pretty easy. Except for the lost levels, obviously. And I think 2 is pretty hard. But the games that don't have conventional uh, gameplay mechanics... You know like to this game, I think are harder because I'm less familiar with them. So they're not necessarily harder, but you know, Super Mario Bros. 2 is a classic NES game. Of course it's hard. All right, what is that thing? This thing, oh my God, it has a name, an official-ish English name. But Super Mario Wiki redirected it to the same things, the pencil-looking spikes, in Super Mario World. So you could call those a returning enemy, but that's not the ones I was talking about in the very first video. Oh, oh, okay. I'm glad we killed him. I'm not risking that. I'm not getting that. Uh, this is probably a checkpoint, but we are going to take advantage of that because... This is a boss level, as I previously spoiled. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that. If we die, it'll respawn, so good enough for me. We got 24 lives. We're good. All right. Do all the boss levels have this music? I feel like this would also kind of tip you off, if that's true. I don't really pay attention. I just recognize all the songs and I'm like, oh, all right, to most of them. This one, I mean, it's probably my least favorite. It's still still decently a banger. Okay, thought that was going to be, I thought I was about to hear the boss music. <gasps> Buckethead! This might be the final Buckethead in the game. Say goodbye, everybody. All right, here we go. Penguin. Now, this is going to be tough. How do we fight Penguin? We jump on his head. I'm pretty sure he has a more interesting Japanese name, although Japanese names seem to often be, uh, honestly, just portmanteaus of regular words and animal names, or machine names, or just puns. So are they really all that more intricate? But this, just penguin, like this is the name of a species that looks, that usually is depicted a lot different. And there we go, we got 5-3 apart. We have 39 lives now. This is the only boss in the game you can fight more than once. And if you revisit any of the other boss levels, the boss will be dead. What the hell, okay. Um, did left, right, right, let's do right, left, left. Oh, oh, good sign, actually. Should we leave now? 
Let's find out. Oh god, I'm gonna regret it so hard. Oh, oh my god. It's showing forgiveness. Oh, oh please, please. Oh, yes! Oh, thank god. We did it. 448 coins from one stage. Thank you, coin minigame. Thank you. All right, I really want to get that 50 up in a course of the other stupid minigame, but I know I'm never going to be good enough to get that. It's not worth the time and effort to practice. Well, it's more not worth the coins to practice. Ooh, that counter taking forever to count down. So beautiful. Hope you guys enjoy our picnic basket theme. I, that fits the food theme for Wario Land. I totally did that on purpose. All right. Well, we did it. I've done... Uh, three forty something minute videos now, so we'll see you next time for Stove Canyon. And yes, this game does save automatically whenever you beat a level. So actually, we're gonna spawn back next time at s spawn back like it's a freaking multiplayer shooter or something at the final course in Sherbet Land. But oh well, I can do a little bit of button pressing and get back here. Don't you worry. Back to Stove Canyon. I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys later. I'm LP Master 6. Oh, yeah. I am. Please press stop. <laughs>